So what are the main features of Augment? Well, to start with, <coughs> the files uh, we decided to organize with explicitly hierarchical if, if you chose to. And uh, because the idea was to find ways in which you could express the conceptual structure of things a little better with the computer ways it showed it. And then, so this became saying to me, well, I'd like to be able to move around very flexibly. And then I'd like also, whenever I get someplace, to be able to, if there are various views that help me get the picture of what's supposed to be being contained in that knowledge, help it portray it for me. What, what are the different views? Well, I can show you here in the screen. Yeah. So this is saying, hey, I'm looking at a file, you know, just a, a sample file, and uh, the thing is here, I'm showing you all the different levels in there, and I'm showing you the way the location of them is described with alternate, like 4A1, means mm -hmm. it's under the fourth main branch, yeah. and 4A means the first of the subordinate branches there, and then 4A1, 2, and 3 are the subordinates of that. But these are things that, uh, like this could be a chapter, and these are yeah. sections, and these are the paragraphs in the section. But it just lets you go arbitrarily deep, but keep track of it. And so if you might notice that every paragraph or it's in there, there's only one line of it. Yeah. And that's because I've chosen when I construct this view very quickly, I didn't construct it, I said, show me this view, mm -hmm. and the computer constructed it. <clears throat> then I said, I just want to see the first line of every paragraph just to help me understand what might be any place. And for instance, I can say, oh, I'm interested in this down here at 4B. One of the underlying concepts mm -hmm. is, say, for completeness, I found something here. Well, let me jump to that. So I just ask for a jump command. What is, I, sorry, what is jumping? Jump, I'll show you. I'm going to jump to that place yeah. in the file. So I click on it, and then I say I have the option, as shown up here, for specifying a change in the way it's viewed. So what if I just say, uh, I hit these three characters. W means I want to open up and show everything that's there at all levels and everything. Y says I'd like to put a blank line between the paragraphs. G says only show me what's under 4B. Right. See? So I say click, OK, do it. Boom, it's up there. So that's how I've said, oh, that's another view that in my own hunting around and studying it shows me something I wanted to make clear to myself. So I have many others. I can say don't show me anything below the second level and show me only the first line again, all the way the rest through it, see, so it'll show me yeah. the rest. And I say, oh yeah, here down here, this organizational hill climb is where I wanted to go, and show me that with just only that one branch. Well, show me all the levels under there. Well, there aren't any more, I see. Well, then show it to me all wide, everything, so I can read it again. Yeah. So these are the, the, the kind of flexibility. And another thing is, <coughs> You'd like everything to be addressable, if you wish. So I could say, I want to jump. I want to jump to the item that's 7B. See, I label that there. This is down here. Well, it'll jump me to that then, see? It'll only really show me that. So I say, well, my goodness. Uh, if I dare edit this thing, I could say, oh, I want to say, uh, I want to add something that's called a link. I'm just putting this there just uh, <laughs> just to show it. I wouldn't print that there, but a link here is an address that's bounded by these two kind of wedges, see? So I'll say, I want to go to, to four. And, but when I get to four, I want to look, I want to look at all the levels mm -hmm. that are only below there and I, one line each, and no blank lines between it. Okay. And uh, I see, oh, I have a link. That's what defines a link. It's, it's an address, 
which can be much more s sophisticated than that, pointing to any, anything yeah. in any of my files. And uh, then on every time you have a link, mm -hmm. you can specify that when I get there, this is the explicit view I want. Yeah. So let's just say, what if I say jump to link? And then select that link, and then say go. See, bingo. Mm -hmm. Just, just the particular view I wanted to see. So there are quite a few different kinds of viewing specifications you can establish, but people are just using that all the time. Um, I could say, I want to jump, I want to jump, and you can just say it right here. I want to jump to item two, and uh, specify. So then it says, oh, you've said where you want to go. Do you want a new view when you get there? Yes, suppose I uh, turn off the numbers and have two lines and a blank line between them, see? Oh, there's nothing but two. I should have gone to, I should have known that. <laughs> gone to three. Let me six, go to the successor of this one, see there. How about you? Or the new one. But, um, and can you do, uh, sort of, can you, can you edit text? Yes, what would you like? Well, copy yeah. and paste and delete. And well, uh, well, let's see, what would you like me to delete? Well, how about the um, titles? Well, I, if I delete them, what happens to what's, what's down below them? Or I could just delete the words that are there, yeah. and that'll leave them blank, see? I can say, all right, oh, it's Oops. gone. I can turn on the number address, and you'll see, oh, there's, there right. is a place for four, but there's nothing content. Yeah. I can say I can replace that statement with the content of another one, see, and uh, so what if I pick this one up here, well, what if I pick this statement here, I'll say I'm going to replace this statement with this one, Yeah. so bingo, oh. it's there, and uh, so then I can look at something like I can say, oh, you know, this language and methodology ought to be interchanged. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a verb called transpose that yeah. says interchange. Well, I want to transpose two of these statements, see? Bingo. So I can transpose, yeah. oh, I can transpose what? I can transpose two chapters, sort of speak in this thing. Transpose branches. That's, well, yeah, transpose this whole branch with this one here. Bingo. And everything under it went with it. So I could. How long would would uh, yes. copying and pasting do to do that exactly. kind of interchanging thing or, or moving? And you use um, that. What 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 do you use that for? Why do you use it? Oh, well, this was a gimmick that we started working early on. Uh, the same time as the mouse appeared, etc. Thinking how we're going to give our commands. So one thing to, to tell you is I I knew about menus, etc. Way back then, so I experimented with the mouse tool, saying I want to do something down here. If I had to go clerk to a menu to press on it and come back to do this, how long would that take me? Mm -hmm. And then I had been playing with this idea and I found out that I can say what I want to do faster here than I could go click on a menu. And how does it work? So this this is a interesting thing. This uh, grew out of a game I was playing with my children. <laughs> yeah. And it uh, ended up, I actually ended up teaching them the binary counting with their fingers. If you put a one, a two, a four, a eight, a sixteen on their fingers, Pretty soon they get the idea of counting. See? Yeah. Oh, then I went to one, two, twenty-six, a through z, and said, "What's this? That's a seven. No, no, no. Oh, seventh letter is a G. Let's it's call G. that a G. Yeah. And what's this? Oh, that's five. That's an E. Oh, we can spell. Yeah. And so they got so excited that within a week they were talking. So. Do so. you use that for writing text as well, or mainly for commands? No, I use it for short text periods for 
longer periods it's faster on the keyboard. Yeah. For short ones it's here, but also the way we give commands. See, it's a verb, yeah. noun, like that. Well, I can hit a question mark anytime and that'll show me mm. all the verbs. It only takes one or two letters right. to specify what you want and then it comes out here full. Like pick a, pick a verb. Jump. Jump. So you see it's just okay. So I just hit G and it says I'm going to jump. And then it says to where? To. Then I can hit a question mark if I want to. But these are all of the things that we ended up getting mm -hmm. a specialized targets that's where you want to jump to. Okay, so for instance, word? Jump to word, huh? Okay, then you have, what's this question mark? Options. The first or the next? Well, next. we can say jump to the first, first word first. And there's a word that's been in there before and I don't want to use that. So let me just say uh, jump to the first word of some, right? S-O-M-E. Mm -hmm. Where do you think I'll go? Bingo. Yeah. Some, oh, right. See? So I could, yeah, I could hit yeah, that yeah. again to say I want to go to the next word. Oh, there aren't any more. Yeah. So I could say jump to the word first. Uh, first. Uh, assume. I can click on it there. Jump mm -hmm. to the word first. Oh, there's an assume. See? Is there a next one? Yeah, there's an assume. Oh, is there another one? Yes. Oh boy. Oh, look, a lot of us huh? so yeah. Okay, now, now I'm going to ask some silly questions. Because you're you're in a file now, right? Yes. How for instance do you go to your email uh -huh. and your address book? How do you how do you navigate? Well, I usually go jump if I say my Address book I call PH for phone, see, and I could just say I want to jump to PH and I put a comma behind it, which that says it's expecting to find a file named PH, and I can go there. But if I want to, I can also say I fixed it so the last names of everybody in there was actually the label of that paragraph. Okay, so yeah. you go, for instance, to Hagland. All right. <laughs> see, that's what's in there like that. So then I'll go and I'll say, it gives me a chance of a view. So I'll say, okay, just look at what's Hegland and anything that's below it. See? There, there I am. See? So it gives you lots and lots of flexibility. Yes, I see. And then you can also put the addresses in the right kind of a format, call it a link. Mm -hmm. So then there's a command that says jump to link. See? And uh, a lot of times I do things <coughs> I put in links here to particular places I've found things and I don't see any such that uh, sometimes I can use things like the uh, like a an URL here. Mm -hmm. So in another version of this you could say jump to link on that and it would actually switch to the browser and take yeah. you there. Here's 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 a a message from Frode. That says it's something like here. Talking about the documentary that was 25 November last year. Mm. Well, let's jump that link on that. That was oh, just really? a note under his thing. Bingo! There I am with. That's oh, the right. email that Frode sent. Oh great! Last November. Talking about this. So there's just very much flexibility about moving yeah, and editing. Yeah, very much. And I think the links can point to any, any object, any character, any word, anything. Are you actually using this as your email? This, uh, yeah, this is my stored email, I can say. Uh, so but you're linking to messages? See, uh, I just say, this is a, a branch in there that I uh, I stored the comments back and forth about yeah. uh, the documentary for what it wants to make. And I say, well, what's, let's jump to the head of this and see what all kinds of categories are there. Oh, wow. There are all the categories, and I can look down any one category. Yeah. See, or I know that uh, I've done it so that I said, after a while I stop showing categories and then just start showing files. Yeah, because this is files and emails and well, it's notes, to say notes or 
Oh, yeah. yeah. See, e under each one of these would be a set of fi uh, emails. <laughs> the, something like that. See, yeah. your emails talking about hyperscope. So I stuck stuck them all under something called I just abbreviated as HS. Yeah. So I could say I also want to see the last four messages that were in this file. Okay. Those are the last four. How do you s how do you save uh, how do you save something? For instance, if you we were we would write a note now, how would you save it? Oh. Under uh, do you type in the address as well. I'm just wondering how you save something in a specific place. Oh oh, I I say insert etc. And, and like I could I could rearrange this so I could sort it, but this has been sorted and arranged so. Yeah. But I can, I can say, oh, I can move this whole message here down mm -hmm. here if I want to do that. See, rearrange them. Or I can say, I want to move this mm -hmm. to that one in Hyperscope. Oh, that was named HS, see? Yeah. And if I want to say, oh, when you get there, go down a level and to the end of that. See, so it'll be the last one in there. Oh, let's see if it got there. I'll jump to HS, one level down from each one. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, there's the message was there that I, I just sent. And I said, what was in that message? Well, I want to jump to it uh, <laughs> and look at all the levels under it. See? Oh, he called me Hypago. So I'll just go up here and not turn on the numbers. See? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so there's the right. really message. But it's, it's really right. But it was years and years of evolution with these basic concepts of let's keep evolving, finding more functions, adding them if they prove to be useful, add them, refine them, do this and that, change the conventions. And so that was still evolving in the middle 80s from the middle 60s, so that was 20 years hmm. evolving. But the very early ones were made with this basic idea of can address anything and can provide views and jumping and linking. You have any question? Yeah, I do. Um, that was it's gonna be amazing to edit these things together. But from the outside you guys dove in pretty quickly. And the last question Doug didn't actually answer for me. The whole mm -hmm. the saving thing. Uh, what I understood you said, Doug, was how you can insert things into something else. But if you have, if you want to create a new file and store that, yeah, for instance, in, yeah. Uh, oh, it's, you, it, it's in this file. Yeah, but no, I but to create to. a whole new file. Let's say you want to create a file. Talk about how yeah, great this interview completely, was. Completely uh, okay. new, from so scratch. Why don't you ask that question from scratch too? And, and suggest <laughs> so, suggest so a name for it. Yeah. A short name. So, what if I would want to uh, create a whole new file? and call it Conversations with Doug. How would I do that? That long name? Mm. Oh, I, I Doug ask you if you bud. can ask <laughs> you. <laughs> Just give me a one word name. <laughs> okay, so let's call it uh, Camera. Camera, okay. Yes. So I'll say, uh, <laughs> create file named Camera. Huh? That's yeah. it? Okay. So oh, bingo, there it is. It has this kind of material in it. Mm -hmm. The camera doesn't come till there. And the date and time at which this was performed. Yeah. But I can add in front of it, which I usually do. And, I, and then uh, 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 add some convention like this. So I can add then any any titling I wish above this and this material here, which is more for internal use, can be appended to it like that. So it has, an, has a title above? I can, yeah, I generally do that. So when I first go into a file, mm -hmm. I usually look at this thing with one line only. So I'd like to see what the title is. And then if it has everything in it like this, that, that's okay. Can I ask you another question? You know how, in like Mac and uh, on a PC, you can 
few files. We, we are very much used to that now. You know, you have, a, for instance, a file called documentary, and then there are separate files. You, so you can folders and files? Yeah, folders. So you can see what you have right in front of you. For instance, because what, what oh. if I don't know the name of a oh, file oh, in your case? Well, I've got a, I've got a file named F. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jump to so I'll go to a file name F and uh, F do in front of that. And so this would be like. Mm hmm. The F do like that. And when I get there, it, this, this gives me the view of the master set of files. See? Yes. And okay. I can go down under each one just like it's a primary folder. See? I go see what's under that OHS one. Show me what's under there. Yeah. If there are more layers down there or not. So this this was acting like a folder. Boom. So each of these is something I can link to right away. Whichever one I want to. So the, the sort of link to it and then the name of it afterwards. Is, is this, sorry, is this say what it actually is? So these are and notes? That's, that's these the are name. The name of the file. Yeah. And this this is just a general descri quick description yeah. of it. So I could go to any one of those files, or I could look to say then what's what's more at that same level. See? So um, good. I have one good. more question. Yeah. Can you ask Doug to open a document because I'm doing it at different zooms. So you've already done this. I just like to film it differently. Okay. Open a new document and change the view specification to first line only. I'm only going to be filming mostly the top left hand part of the screen so it's actually legible. Is that cool Doug? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I'm not ready for you yet, one second. Should I ask, uh, can we see? Can, can you open it? Yeah. Hang on, I'll focus for me. Uh. Yeah. So I'm not. Yeah. I'll ask something. Uh. Well, this, this I'm looking for a section here where these are kind of mail and mail storage files mm -hmm. down here. And, uh, That's very sexist. And so I can pick any one I want to and go open it up. So I'm ready to film. Can you please repeat what you said again? Because now okay. I'm zoomed in. It would be really nice to have it, including what you said. So can you, for instance, open a file and only see the first sentence? The first sentence in the file? Or yeah. The Sure. Sure. Pick pick one of my mail ones that for a given period of mail storage. Yeah. Tell me which one. So for instance the thirtieth. Sorry, the fourth of February. No, pick pick it by telling me which name. Is that the name? <laughs> yeah. Oh right, okay, yeah that one? T forty six? Okay, so then I'd say and you wanna see uh uh, you want to see when I go there? What do you want to see? The first first line only? First oh, sentence only? Oh, anything there? Alright. I have I've zoomed in too far. Your, your commands are too long. I have to zoom out and you have to do that again. I apologize. Yeah. So my question was really... <laughs> your question anyway. just was perfect. Just <laughs> answer, you know. Ask him, open a file and... Oh uh, yeah? I forgot I wouldn't. Uh, it's really tough actually. See, one thing, the first line is I would just show that, or the other one is saying, first hey, paragraph. just the top level things, one line. Yeah. That's what you want to see. That's no, in, uh, if, if you're in a, file, in a, in a document, mm -hmm. text document, see only, for instance, the first sentence only, or the first paragraph only. All right. It's not, not the one that's the name of it or no, something? No, not the, not, no, okay. down, down there, sure. in the actual document. Yeah. I think. I mean, but you don't know whether that is a the hierarchical head of a chapter or section or something, do you? Well, for instance, uh, the first line of each paragraph. Is that possible? Sure. Would that be possible? At what level? I mean, how, how, many, uh, how many levels into the document? You could say, that what we usually do on there is just the first line of the top level. It's like, I want to see the first line of the chapters. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Do you have your statistics oh, paper on there? What? So, I'm, I'm just thinking maybe it's better to use a document rather than an email file as an example. 
Yeah, that's what we were looking at before. Yeah, I, th I think that might be a bit clearer. If you go back to do that again. Right. And so I'd say, uh, so I'd say go back to jump return files. Was it that one? Yeah. No, it wasn't that one. Was it F? No, it wasn't that one. Was it camera? Uh, hmm. Mm. Maybe it was. Well, let's try. No. No. So we go through that again. To make this really clear for the filming, when you've found one and you're ready, if you say now, then Fleur will ask you the question to do it and then you do it. Because the searching makes things a little complicated for us to edit later. So you tell Fleur when you're ready and then she'll ask you the question you do it. Is that cool? Right, right. I can just jump directly to it mm -hmm. if you yeah. like. Oh, oh, okay. So I uh I, I knew that it, I had named it something like this. <laughs> uh, uh, view de demonstration. Thing. And I think when I get there, I only want to see the first line, first level, one line each. And uh, I say, okay, here are the things I was going to show you. Is this the... F the, the, uh, the, this is the first line of each paragraph in the actual document, is that yeah, right? Right, we open up the documents all together. We're going to have to do it again because I, I want to make sure this is filmed perfectly. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that this, it would be better to go to something that was a real document like this, this yeah. thing was. Yeah, okay. okay. So these are, these are all documents? These are, no, these are links to that one kind of document, the links that went to different places with different views on them, see. Okay. Do you have your 62 paper? It'll be a really nice example if you have it in there. No, it's, uh, we, we lost the omelet version. We, I don't never was, <laughs> never was an augment come to think about it. Any other main paper then? Cause yeah, that that's what this one is. This one is. Great. Anyway, so this, this link on this thing would do it. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, so we just say jump to link on that, and that's what I was trying to explain to you before. Yeah. So that goes to that document, which is something that was a published paper, and these are the different print chapters in it. I need you now, Doug, to please type in the command so that I see how long it is, because I'm going to zoom in tight so it's really easy for people to see on the screen. So just say open this document, view spec, first line only, and then don't actually execute, because that's... That's what I'm filming here. Sorry for all these visual interruptions, guys. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Blank screen. Okay, now write up, please, the sentence, uh, or command rather, I apologize. Open this document to the view spec only first line per paragraph. And then don't execute it, just let me zoom in on it. Okay. Thanks. What was its number? Nope. Yeah. Oh, I just make something. No, up. I better go verify that number four. That's it is. Eight oh three sixty. Don't let me forget that. Eight oh three sixty, I'll remember. Right. You ready? Okay, I'm ready to go. Yeah, one, two. Mm -hmm. I wanna jump the item and I know it's got a number. Eight oh three six oh, it's a numbered file. So I say, okay, I wanna go there. And I say, all right. So then it says what view I want. And you asked for what view was it? First sentence only of each paragraph. Okay. The top level? Yes. Well, how many lines of, do you want blank space between them or yeah, not? Yeah, blank space is nice. Blank space between them. Okay, do you want them numbered or not? Yeah, numbered. Want them numbered, all right. So I think we're ready to go. Okay. So we just say, all right, go. I'm very happy. Good. Okay, stop recording. <laughs>
energy. You don't have that dynamic ability to, you know, hit a couple of chords and, um, mm -hmm. and and make it exactly what you, what you need. It is a lot more flexible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we have to say that. Yeah, the flexibility is very well, Flexible is good, but dynamic, I think. Dynamic. You covered it even better, because you're saying that, if I can paraphrase what you said, today with a GUI, settings are stored somewhere else, you go find them. But in Doug's system, every setting is dynamically part of everything you do. Yeah, how can, can, can you say that, Doug? <laughs> I can't even pronounce the words. <laughs> what did he say? Just that, that you don't have settings that apply to everything all the time, but that, that it's that you can choose what to do at any any moment mm -hmm. in time. A lot of them, and some of them are sort of set you know, for you when you enter, or, you, or, or basic. You, I don't know how you say it. How did if I say you, it? If you can just say, settings today are off to some, in some little special area on the computer where they change them, but in your system, the settings are part of how you work. You can change them on the fly as part of the operation if you want or not. Hmm. You can dynamically. Yeah, in, in other systems of today, settings are something you often go off and, and change, and then every place you move after that, those settings prevail. And in Augment, we have a lot of different kinds of settings that you can just do on the fly just to, because at that time it'd be more convenient if the setting were like this rather than like this. So, um, anyway, this is very much the way it is. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Very good. I'd, li I'd like to show another thing that's, okay. that's in there. The was a better word, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michelle Prevail. Michelle How about, how about we, uh, <coughs> Computer yes. use is dangerous to your health. So do you need a glass of water? Um. Iced tea? Beer? <coughs> I guess so, it's a funny thing. Do we Thank have you. champagne? <laughs> Don't get stuck on the sticky floor in my kitchen. Okay. <laughs> I spilled some stuff on it. <coughs> um. Yeah, I hope Kevin's floor in the kitchen doesn't like some water. Why? Never cleaned up that spill, did we? Which spill? That spill. Yes, I did. Oh. And I did the dishes this morning. That's great, I can have some non-speaking bits of the man hard at work <coughs> sneezing. Mm. Are you allergic to the computer or flour? Oh yeah. Both. <coughs> Who's a birthday girl? Twenty-two. Twenty-three, come on. You don't look over over twenty. Thanks. Excuse me, are you saying my business partner looks immature? Hmm, interesting. <coughs> See, the whole point of this was we're actually doing a commercial for sprites. like this in here. There's the name. Could you please start saying example of what? Just oh, so we have the intro for today. It's an example of another feature that we have that we call 
the inclusion feature. Yeah. And um, one pair of the view spec uh, characters, o, capital O and capital P, are there to say, turn on that kind of special feature or turn it off. And the special feature is that if it runs across a statement that says, you know, capitalize the word include and then a link, it means that in this, in place of this here, it, it includes in this view the content that you're pointing to. So in this particular case here, it says, okay, uh, the link starts out with a textual address string. Dot U means, oh, from this point, jump up. Mm -hmm. The dot UL means when you get up there, take the link that's there. That points to this document we were looking at. D says, well, drop down a level. And then, the, then what's there says, oh, at that level, show everything that follows it, only at that level, one line, no blank lines between them, and turn on the numbers. Okay. So we can just say, all right, let's, uh, let's turn on view spec uppercase O. See, what do you see? Mm -hmm. And he says, oh, that doesn't seem to be wrong, right. You go back and says, E L T Z M. Oh, that's supposed to be there. Why isn't that working right? And as a matter of fact, I don't know. <laughs> it's not working right. <laughs> 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 well, let's try something else. <laughs> We're definitely leaving this in. So sorry, you have include and and a, and a link. If we jump and in that link. link. Look what you see. So this is supposed to include that view here. Oh, include. <laughs> Let's include. I have to say what your what object you're including. Pardon me. Say oh. Oh, nice. All right. Mm -hmm. What is what is flex? Sorry. That's what you're seeing there. See? Flex. So uh, this this is in there in the here. Oh. Oh. Huh? So I could go along looking at this thing like this, and I says, you're talking about some material there. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, let me get a picture of it. So it's set up so if you put on this view spec, uh, oh God. it'll show it to me underneath everything. And, uh, oh, boy, this so is, you've, that's, that's you, uh, you've included a certain f view in, there's a view spec that says, uh, uh, you know, don't, uh, If I'm looking through there, I'd see just this. See? Yeah. And I'd say, oh, I'd like to include in this particular view that plex that that thing's pointing to. Yeah. And uh, it's pointing actually to the file I want to go. So all I have to do then is hit this other view spec, and it includes that. You know, it includes in this view that thing that you're pointing to. So you don't have to actually 
people don't have to actually go there, they can just have it, a picture of it included if they wish, and they have their choice as they're coming through whether it's going to include or not, or just tell you the name of what's there. Uh, sorry, it's confusing though. I think, I think I understand. Do we want to see that again? I do. Maybe with another example? Or is it really complicated? No, because I think this is something you can quite easily cover in voiceover, and I would just show it. Okay. It may even be easier to uh, mock up an example to make it really deadly clear. Yeah. I can ask to show it. Oh, that has 85. Yeah. Oh, well, in these different sections in here, how much is in each section? See? <laughs> God, this fooling me every time. Oh, boy. Anyway. <laughs> You can look at it like that and tell you. <laughs> See, some of them have quite a few paragraphs under them and some yeah. don't. So, uh, a lot of times that's something useful. You want to go through and say, oh, how much material is in this? Yeah. Just look at the top level. Depth. 